Hi everyone, it's Andrea and I'm here today with Colouring Catch Up Hamish Part 3. So yes, um, we're going to be colouring in this book again, the, the Terry Pratchett's Discworld colouring book. Um, I've been using so far my Derwent Colour Softs but I've also got my Prisma Colours here as well because I always, always mix the pencils, it doesn't bother me at all. There's not really much left to do, it's just the big spaces, so there's the green grass the, and the sky and just a little bit on him, like the ropes and uh, his eyes and, and his um, goggles really. So I thought we'd just get started and have a little catch up and see how everybody is. I'll just move my prisms out of the way because they're in the way. So what have you been up to? Um, I'm on annual leave at the moment and then I've only got a few more days in and then I'm finishing for my maternity leave so you'll get lots of videos pre-filmed and uploaded um, from December 2nd onwards right up until the baby comes because once the baby's here I won't have so much time to film but of course I will have some pre-recorded stuff for you um, um, colouring book th flip throughs and Marilyn scrapbooks I'm going to try and film the entertainment bookshelf tour for when that happens as well as some overviews of um, some of my other books that I've got so somebody wanted an overview of David Sten's bombshell but uh, you know his book about Jean Harlow so I will be doing that. It looks like I, I didn't do his ears. That's an ear. Hmm. Let's get my blues out. Um, yeah, so I'll be pre-filming a lot because obviously the first couple of weeks is going to be very manic. But I do still want to carry on with the channel. I don't want to give it up. I do want to film loads of colouring videos. I do want to still film my flip throughs and my chats and my book reviews. I just don't know how it's going to work. But I will figure that out. But until then, you're going to get lots and lots of stuff off me. You're going to be so sick of the sight of me, I tell you. Oh, the sight of my hands, anyway. <laughs> yeah. So, after this one, I will probably work on my whips on colour and chat for the rest of November or colour and catch up as I call it for, for November the reason being is that in, from December the 1st I only want to colour Christmas pictures and I definitely want to colour them on camera for you so I've got six or seven colouring books that are just Christmas ones or winter ones so I've got Tin and Olig by Edwina McNamee oh god I can pronounce her name normally McNamee I've got Ruth Sanderson's uh, Santa's Christmas, Johanna Bassford's Christmas, Jade Summer Christmas colouring book, I've got Escaped Christmas Past by Good Wives and Warriors, Selena Fenwick's Festive Magic, which isn't overly Christmas, and I know there's another one, and I can't think of what it is, but yeah, I've got several Christmas colouring books, oh, I know, it's a Creative Havens um, Vintage Christmas Cards one, so which I think will be lovely but obviously I don't know which one I'm going to do first but from the 1st to the 25th I'm only going to try and colour in the Christmas books because I think that would be nice I know some people um, other channels and stuff they've already started colouring Christmas stuff and I know people have on Facebook as well. The reason I'm not is we're still in November and to me the magic of Christmas is spoiled when Christmas starts too soon. I mean I was in town the other day to get um, Paul needed to, to deposit a cheque into the bank and I needed to go and we needed to get some paint and we were going to look at a nursery for little and for when I go back to work which yeah okay I know it's a long way off but you need to get your name down quick because they do look up really really fast and uh, they 
they had, the, you know, they've got the Santa's Grotto up and I'm like, oh, for God's sake, it's November, it's too early for Santa. I mean, I, do, I, mean, I love it, I love Christmas, it's my favourite time of year. But for me, you can't, I, I, it's, November's too early. I mean, I'm not going to lie, I have actually started my Christmas shopping. I've done most of my Christmas shopping. We don't buy huge presents for each other because we don't need it. We'd rather put the money towards going on holiday and, uh, and things like that. So we buy each other little tokens, gifts, for instance. Last year, Paul bought me a, a load of t-shirts with Marilyn on and I needed some new Marilyn t-shirts because all mine were like, are old so and I appreciate that more than anything else you know at my birthday he bought me a coloring book and I'm, I'm happy with that as well as a few other bits and pieces so we don't go mad I mean we usually spend around a hundred pounds each on each other and this year we we're not even doing that because the baby's coming so we're putting money away for that instead but um What we said is we'll just get a few things each, so that we want. And my mum and dad, they, they don't want things, they're not materialistic. So they you know, they you know, my I've got something for my dad already. And I got something for my mum. I mean I haven't quite finished it, I gotta get something else for my dad, but usually it's just something like sweets and stuff. He's got a very sweet tooth, so I will get him some teeth, sweets. I'll get him some teeth, shall I? Shall I get him some teeth? <laughs> I'll get him some sweets. So this is the, I'm using the Prismacolor green ochre for, to start to layer the fields and the hills. And then I'll do more than one layer on this, so there's quite a lot of this, so this is going to be quite boring, I think, for you. Um, so we're not going to spend a lot of money on each other. We'd rather have the money to spend next year and because um, we need to buy things for the baby. We've just had a new fridge freezer delivered, chest of drawers for her room and so on. So it's there's lots of stuff we need for her we'd rather spend money on that the fact is it's more for us christmas is more about being together than it is anything else as long as we're together nothing else matters we'll have a lovely day together here his mum's coming for dinner which would be really nice and and so on. So for me, November. Although I like to get my Christmas presents done early because I, that's how I I budget. I, I I budget from from my October, my September, October, November pay to do it. So I actually started back in September with the first things that I got, and then October, what's more, and November I'll finish it off. And I also have my dad's birthday on Christmas Eve. And my younger brother's, I call him my little brother, he's not little, he's big. Um, my younger brother's birthday is a boxing day, so I've got those to do as well. But uh, I'm not going to be buying so much stuff for myself <laughs> in, in November's pay, from November's pay. It'll all be Christmas presents for people and birthday presents, so... So for me, I don't really get Christmassy. Well, I am Christmassy because I'm already singing Christmas songs, but I don't really get with the Christmas stuff much. Um, other than I get my Santa mug out, which you will see probably in the video shortly. Um, until some point in December. So although I'm doing Vlogmas and that starts on the first day of Advent, which is December the 1st and I will have an advent calendar to open. I haven't decided which one yet. I've got to look for one. It's usually a chocolate one for me because I like chocolate. I'm going to try and get a cosmetics one, I think. I think. For me, Christmas uh, doesn't really begin until my little brother gets home from New Zealand. I say little. He's bigger than I am. So Chris lives in New Zealand and then he comes home at the moment and he has them for the last six years comes home for Christmas every year 
and either my dad or I, depending on who's available, picks him up from the train station. This year it will most likely be me. So he gets the he gets plane into Heathrow and then he gets the train from is it Paddington I want to say from Paddington to Newport and he just texts us when he's like at the seven tunnel yeah, the seven tunnel and we drive down and pick him up because he's like over six foot tall so uh, and he's been on a plane for 26 hours and with a brief break and then a train for another couple of hours he doesn't really want to catch a bus home so one of us goes and picks him up and it will probably be me because I'm off because he's coming home on the Friday but for me the Christmas only starts really when Chris gets off that train and when he, he appears in Newport train station that's for me the start of Christmas and his name is Christopher because he was due on Christmas Day, but he decided to come Boxing Day instead. So, it's always nice to have him home. We do Christmas presents and everything, it's lovely. I love it. So although I will be doing Christmassy things prior to the 8th, for Vlogmas, it'll be more my day-to-day -day vlog Christmas life <laughs> not that there's much of it um, I'm trying to find things to do for instance like on the 10th the 9th and 10th there is a, a Christmas market in Caerphilly I haven't been to for years because normally that market is on the day that Chris comes home so he usually gets home on the Saturday the day of the market and then it's on the Sunday, but he's usually too jet lagged and too tired to go. And it's always nice to go out with Chris. So, because he's coming home on the Friday, with any luck, he'll be feeling up uh, a bit more awake by the Sunday and over his jet lag, and he'll want to come out with us. And we go and we have food off the stalls and we buy some little bits and pieces. You know, like cards and stuff, family stuff. Can't get in there. But um, yeah, it's really nice to do Christmas. So that's really good. The Christmas market is absolutely amazing. I love the Caerphilly Christmas market. I've been several times. And like I said, I haven't been for a while, but it's a really, really nice place to go. And they have demonstrations in the castle you do have to pay the normal price to get in the castle which is a shame but there's also enough stuff going on around the town center they have market stalls and they have a fun fair and they have lots of different foods um, and one of Paul's friends, Gwen, usually has a stall there. I'm hoping she'll be there this year. She actually did some of the colouring books I hauled earlier this year and featured on. If you go back and look at Colouring the Green Lady, that was by Paul's friend, Gwen. He went to school with her. They were in art class together. And, uh, yeah, so she's, her art's lovely. I was colouring in one of her books the other day. I was colouring in the Zen Mandala book too. I was really enjoying that. I was just, just, sit, just sitting there watching some videos on my TV. On YouTube. Which I like to do. I like to watch... Um, though I can't comment on them, I have to go on my phone or my computer. I do like to watch videos on the big TV screen it's really fun it is really fun so I think this one we'll probably finish off not today but on the next one because um, I'm going to put some layers on this these um, hills 
Because the one thing that, that does happen is that hills look different from above. They have different, you have different shades of green depending on, on whether it's grassy or farmland or you know all different things whether they've got rape planted in there or something else so I've been reading a book nothing new there because I'm always reading something obviously because I'm colouring a lot again I'm not reading as much but I was reading this book on my Kindle in bed this morning because I was I'm having a lazy of leisure week on annual leave I don't know if I do too much Paul goes mad he says you need to rest stop it all right I'm pregnant not dead uh, so I was reading this book it's called The Locket I can't remember who it's by I'll have to look it up Ooh, what's going on out there Hang on, I'm just going to be a bit nosy to what's going on outside. It's nothing exciting, it's just a van. We are expecting some packages. Oh, I just hit the tripod very badly. Sorry. We are expecting some packages from Amazon today. Um, God, it's getting further and further away, isn't it? Hang on, let me remove this. It's better. We'll just get this in a, that's a bit better. At the moment, behind the tripod, there's a chest of drawers because it's got to go up into the baby's room. But it can't yet because he has, Paul hasn't finished painting it. So it's sort of in the way. So I might film the next colour and chat in the bedroom. <laughs> I have filmed colour and chats in the bedroom before and it does work. It's just, it's not that easy. It's quite funny though. Um, because I'm like miles away from the page, I'm, I'm like I'm trying to lean across it, it's not very good. Um, but yeah, so I'll film the next one. Where's my chart now? In the uh, bedroom, I think it might be a bit easier. That's better. So that's not my Amazon delivery by the look of it. Nope, because the van's gone. I, I was expecting one yesterday as well and I was like waiting for ages and ages and ages and ages and ages and ages and ages thinking, God, if it had been at Mum's, it would have been here by now. And then I clicked on the tracking button and it showed me that the van was at the top of the street. So I was like, oh, okay, it's here. And I'll tell you more about that later because I've been naughty. I did something I said I wasn't going to do. But you'll have to wait for that. Yes, I went and bought something. I know I'll have to stop soon because I need to start saving money for when I go on to nil pay. So I don't want to go back to work straight away. I want to have my... So here in the UK, I'm entitled to a year off on what they call maternity leave. Now, a lot of companies pay um, three months full, three months statutory, and then sit, you get six months nil if you want to stay off, which is impossible. My company is slightly different. I have better terms and conditions, and so I can have, I only will have three months of nil pay as opposed to six months, but uh, I will, and I will have some months on half pay. But that's another story. But uh, at least it gives me some time to finish paying off my credit card bill, which is nearly done. Yay, and well done. And put some money away. So basically the money I'm paying on my credit card I'll be putting away for when I go into nil pay. So. I don't like having debt. I don't have it. The, the, real, the only real debt that we've both got is the mortgage on the house. Um, I don't have, even have an overdraft on my bank account. I don't see the need. Um, what I bought 
which I will show you in another video at some point. The other day, I took the money out of my savings to buy. And I know I will be putting money back in my savings as soon as I can to bulk it up for when I go on snow pay. Um, and there was a reason I did it, and I will explain it all. And yes, it is colouring related, so that's why I'm not telling you all about it, because I will do another colouring haul video. And you're like, but you weren't going to do any... I know, I wasn't going to do any more of those. But I need to now. So, these I like the way these, these um, hills uh, are showing, are going. They, they're starting to look very nice and... different textures, which is different colours and textures, which is how fields do look from above. It's not all one colour. I'm still looking out the window for Amazon. I want my Amazon. So I am keeping an eye on the time a little bit, just because I know how long these videos take to upload. And uh, yeah, it's so annoying sometimes especially if Paul needs the computer so for instance Monday Paul worked from home in the morning so I couldn't do anything I couldn't watch videos um, I couldn't upload because the amount of bandwidth that it uses would interfere with his remote access to the office so I just I could play on my internet I could play like on Facebook games and stuff so I just played on Facebook for a bit and I read my book and I just stayed in bed and I was like I'm out the way you can't you can't moan at me don't moan at me I'm in bed so just so he could get on with his work so I didn't want to distract him very nice so I'm also uploading a video at the moment so I'm just keeping an eye on that oh I have to log back into the computer it's logged me out so Ugh, I'll do that in a minute when we finish filming let's put another light green down so it's very very light as you can see I'm not I've not put any pressure on you can tell by the way I'm holding it halfway up the um, pencil stem very light because we will put another colour over the top because like I said fields are different colours depending on where you are so from above you'll see different colours it depends on what's on them so green grazing fields even grazing fields will be different depending on which field it's in then you might have a, a field of ploughed stuff waiting to be sown you might have a field of, of corn or rapeseed which would be bright yellow or you might have cabbages or onions and they're all different shades of green so I thought we would just just put some different bases on and decide what we're doing but yeah it's looking nice I like it Hamish is gonna land safely in a patch somewhere I don't know whether it's gonna be a cabbage patch I'm just gonna turn the book around like this so it's easier for me to to reach so yeah what if we finish Hamish and then I need and I want to make another color and catch up and what I'll do is I will um, and I might do what I will do is um, just do one of my whips. For instance, for Cozy Colouring um, Night that Jen from Reading with Pugs and Sammy, uh, Sammy's Colouring Chat, or Colouring Chat with Sammy. I'm not sure what the name of her channel is, but it's a really good one. Um, did I started something from Smelja Snova? which is a very, 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 very in-depth book. And I wanted to do something a bit more in-depth than I normally do as a challenge, but what I didn't think was I'm not gonna finish it in a night and I'm still working on it. So what I might do is, if we can chat again before December 1st, 
once we've finished Hamish, because we haven't finished him yet, then what I might do is pick up that or one of the other whips I've got and we'll chat while I work on that. I might have finished it by then because obviously once I finish filming this I will probably go and sit on the sofa, I'll curl up, watch some TV or a video and I will want to excuse me I will probably want to colour again and I do have a couple of whips on the go I've got a Hannah Lynn downloaded page that I'm in the middle of colouring um, obviously I've got that picture that I mentioned that I was doing for cosy colouring and what else Oh, the Zen Mandala from the Gwen Davis book. So, and I've also got some other whips on the go. For instance, I'm still working my way through the comic book version of Dracula. Which is mad, because that is... I'm loving that, by the way. It really is a really nice book. But it's very... Um... You know, because it tells a story, the pictures could be quite similar, so I'm still working on, on one of those pages. And I got a few other things that I sort of started and never finished, so I, I might bring those down, try and finish some of those, because uh, I don't really want to start anything new now until December the 1st, when... Although I'm on 10 to 6, I usually do come home and colour for an hour after I've had my dinner. And and that's just because I like, it helps me unwind and relax. And Paul can listen to his music if he wants to or watch some TV. Cause sometimes I just don't feel like having the television on. <gasps> I know. I don't watch programmes like The Walking Dead. I don't have anything against them. I just don't watch them. The only series I actually watch is Criminal Minds that I'm actually watching that's not on like the BBC. Obviously on the BBC you've got things like Blue Planet 2 and documentaries which I love but uh, I'd, rather, I'd rather sit and read normally or colour. Same as that if the football's on if Paul wants to watch it he's not he loves football but he, he doesn't watch a lot. I'll sit there with my headphones on, listen to an audiobook, and colour. In fact, that's why I got Audible from Amazon in the first place, was because Paul was watching more football. And he, he likes it when I sit with him, even though I can't bear sport. Well, football I can't anyway. I cannot stand football. But that's just me. So I said, all right, well, what I'll do is I'll get a colouring book out, and I'll sit in colour, and I'll listen to my audiobook. And that way we, we could sit together. And so that's what we did. But he doesn't really... I need to just have a quick look at it to see how... He doesn't really watch the football anymore. So... Yeah. I want a brownie red. Colour's that. Bit too red. I don't want that bloody chestnut again. That old chestnut. What's that now? Let's have a look on the other side of the browns are. Where are the browns? Right, here they are. What's that? Do we got terracotta? We got sienna brown, henna, burnt ochre, light amber, chocolate. Espresso, dark umber, dark brown. Um, where did that light umber go? We'll use that one next, I think. I just talk to myself. I'm like a lot of colourists, I don't plan what I'm doing. I just think, right, I'm going to do this now. Anything I've got planned for the Christmas. 
I don't know what happened there, but the camera turned itself off again. It seems to do that at the 30 minute mark. I think it overheats slightly, but I'm back. Um, I was talking about the planning for the books and, and what Christmas and stuff. I don't plan what, how I'm going to colour or what colours I'm going to use. I just grab them when I'm ready. I think Anne from A Colourful Life is pretty like that too, which is quite funny because um, her pictures are always stunning. Um, but like I said, the only, like, even the Christmas books, the only thing I've got planned for those is that um, there will be lots of stickles. There will be lots and lots of glitter on those pages. As you can see, my light number is getting very short. It's not very short, but it's getting shorter. Like I said, I've now found somewhere I can get Prisma Colours open stock. As long as they have them in stock, because obviously some of the more popular colours go out really quick. But it's just a matter of keeping an eye on it. And then when I need some specific colours on this, and they also do Colorsoft and they do Polychromos, mainly for me it's this in Colorsoft, I will then go and spend about 20 quid and order a load of the really shortish pencils. So the ones I've got the least of, I will order. So obviously I don't know what that is yet because I've not, I've got to be honest, I've not actually needed to order any replacements except for I ordered a Prismacolor like peach for skin tones because I'd used up a lot of that one. And that cost me like four quid to get because it had to come from America. Oh, something like that. Um, it's one pound something from Rainbow Fine Arts. Um, you have to pay two pound fifty packaging, but I had to pay packaging anyway from Rainbow Fine Arts. But if you, but that's for however many pencils you order, whether it's one or ten. So if I spent twenty pounds on pencils, twenty two pound fifty in total. That's not a lot. That's fine. I could live with that because um, I think it's needed. I keep going off. I'm trying to keep an eye on the screen as well as look what I'm doing. I'm so far away. You won't believe how far away I am. I'm just hitting the tripod so I can get in a bit closer to it. And it's all because of that chest of drawers, which is like I said, one I do the next one which will be the next colour in chat. Oh, I missed a bit of the rope. Oh, I'll go back to that in a bit. Um, I'll do it in the bedroom because it's just going to be easier. I'll be sitting side on, but it won't be too bad. Yeah, I've missed some bits of rope. That's OK, we can go back and do them later. So, we're colouring this in a brown and uh, we'll put a green over the top on this one because, I mean, it could be hilly, uh, it could be brown, it could be bracken and, and you know, dried ferns and things like that, but uh, there are lots of different colours that the, the hills could be. Um, I've got to do the other side of the hill as well, it's not just going to stop there, it's just that I haven't got to it yet. I'm going to have to turn this around so I can get into the gap. Excuse me. Here we go. It's just, I hate the same thing I don't like about these double page spreads. Is they're a pain to get into the middles. So. I like the way he's turning out though. Considering I haven't. I was afraid of this book. I've, and I've heard that I'm not the only one because being such a Pratchett fan, I don't want to ruin it. I really don't. But there is no right or wrong. I mean, I've coloured him blue because in the books, the Knack and McFeagles are blue. So, and, you know, that's what it is. Um, God. So 
so not a lot really going on. It was nice to be on annual leave and not at work this week. I gotta go back in. I'm in two days, I'm off Wednesday, then I'm in two days and then that's it. And I'm a lot less stressed because I know that that's all I've got left. It's nice to know that uh, it's going to be finished soon. I don't get me wrong, I do like my job and I love the people, but um, it's been hard. It's been hard those last few months. I've been so poorly and tired and uh, it's, it's why I'm going as early as I can. So and I am going quite early, and it is literally just because I'm not feeling very well. I've not been well, so I need to, I need to finish now. I'm I'm ready. <laughs> uh, and what will I be doing? I'll be sitting around in my pajamas all day for about half a week to a week and then I'll be so bored I'll be like the house will be spotless by Christmas because I will be so bored at home but I'm lucky that my best friend's a teacher so as soon as she breaks up for Christmas holidays we we will um, get together and go out for lunch and do some Christmas shopping and stuff together I can't get into that bit I might try and do that off camera later if I can get into it so we'll go Christmas shopping and we'll have lunch and it'll be nice. So that'll be good. So you'll meet her when I uh, vlog. Ah, I've done it again. Kick the camera. All right. Kick the tripod. I don't know what's going on today. It is literally because we're very stuck for space here today. Ah. So there'll be that. There'll be like. Uh, and I said there'll be the Christmas market, there'll be the Christmas works Christmas party. That's on the 16th. Friday the 15th we'll be having our annual Carols in the Foyer concert. We just sing about five Christmas songs. I'm normally in the Christmas choir, so I've said um, I'm, up, I'm up hopping for it. I know all the songs, so it's just a matter of grabbing a song sheet. <laughs> Standing in line, having a sting. <laughs> so you might you might get to see a bit of that. So it's always nice that day. I mean, I'm really sad that I won't be at work for Christmas week because it's always so much fun. But I'm just so tired, and I've been feeling like I said, I've been feeling so very rough that I need to be off. So this colour is 943 Burnt Uka. A nice reddish earthy tint to it. I'm enjoying this. I do find colouring very relaxing and it's so easy just to chat to you guys. I know I can't see you, I wish I could. I mean I know that some people do live streams but I just... I film on a DSLR, I don't film on a phone. I don't have, I do have filming capability, but I don't have a tripod for the phone. I would not even know where to start about filming on my phone and uploading it. I have tried uploading from my phone before, but only onto Facebook. I'm not, I'm not very technical, I'm not gonna lie. And I don't, I don't really understand how it works so maybe I will look into that because I'm due an upgrade on my mobile soon in fact I think it's passed so if I can get a decent phone um, well I got a decent phone but if I get another phone I might look into how to film and upload and stream and then maybe do a stream I don't know if you guys would be interested in a live stream but let me know, you never know, I might be able to figure it out at some point, it's just not yet. <laughs> I mean, I'm not a technophobe, I love technology, I'm quite good with it, but to the point that in some cases I'm better at it than Paul, who uh, 
who writes pro well no he doesn't write programs but he writes reports for data analyst my brothers Chris and Richard they are the ones who are amazing with them um, computers they 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 know their their onions so to speak they they really know their stuff what time is it oh, right okay um, I don't know how long we've been going because it turned off at 20 something. Oops. And like that. That's better. I think my pencil sharpness is full. Hang on. Hang on. Yeah, my sharpness is full. I won't miss that. Ugh. Did my sharpener. I forgot to bring the bin over. And it was in between now. Oh, there we go, that's better. So I'm using a Tagal sharpener. But it doesn't seem to want to work. I wonder why. It's probably just me. It might be this pencil actually. Oh, it's getting there. Yeah, it's this pencil. Whee! Right, there we are, that's better. So, I'm not going to do much more today because um, we've been going at least 30 minutes, possibly more. And like I said, this, this is going to take me three or four hours to upload. Um, for some reason, I don't know why. As I say, if you do a live stream, it's straight on there, and there's no problem. But if you do a video, and it's a long video, it seems to take forever to um, upload for some reason. I don't know why. I really don't know why. Because, um... That's my chair. You know. And it seems weird because the, the big desktop computer uses the same Wi-Fi as the laptop, but for some reason the laptop seems to work quicker. Uh, I think it's just me. It certainly does not editing, but I think that's because it's the, the, the processor or something. Like I said, I'm not that technical. I know a bit. <laughs> Not a lot though, I'm just going to try and get a bit further in there. That's what I find, it's very hard when you do it, it just goes really dark. Even if you're really light with it. Sounds better. So I think we're doing really well on this. So I'm going on outside again. Still waiting for my Amazon order. I'm, I'm constantly hoping for it. You never know. I might have to rush off in a minute. So I'm just going to put a light green over the top of that green I just put on. Which is literally spring green. I believe that was here. So I'm just going to do this bit again and then that's going to be it for today. I will do those little bits of rope that I missed um, and see if I can get in there off camera. But uh, just because there's no point in going over that again with you because you've seen it. So. I mean, I could have done it quicker if I'd just done it all one colour, but I didn't want it all one colour. Because I know that fields aren't all one colour. Grass isn't all one colour. It has shades, it has textures, depending on where it is and what's been grown on that particular piece of land, if anything. So here we are. This is how we're looking now at the end of today. 
we've done most of the, the, the ground. Obviously there is a bit more to it to do. And after that really we've only got to do the sky. Like I said, I'll do these little bits of, of rope off camera. So hopefully next video we should, with any luck, finish Hamish. Right, so that's it for today. This has been a long, long enough video. I'm still kicking the tripod. Like I said, I'll be filming upstairs next time. So you'll see this wooden table, you'll see something else. Just because it's going to be interesting, easier while this uh, chest of drawers is still in the way. I hope you've enjoyed this colour and chat. Don't forget to leave any comments below if I've asked a question. Answer it <laughs> if you want to. And I'll, I'll see you next time when hopefully we will be finishing off Hamish from the Terry Pratchett Discworld colouring book. I'll see you all soon. Bye.